Alright guys, I've done a, my two litres of water this morning. I did one just plain litre of water and then I did another litre of water with a whole lemon juice in it. Just to make sure I'm well hydrated and alkalized. And then, to start off for breakfast, I'm eating fucking big. Let me show you what it looks like. Today, today is chest day, yesterday was legs. So I definitely need to get a lot of calories to recover from that leg day. And then get ready for this heavy ass chest day. So over here I've got some spaghetti bolognese, as you see, I always start my morning off with this usually. Got some white pasta, then just meat sauce on top of it with minced meat. Then over here, two slices of bread with a tablespoon of peanut butter. Then just a small, just a few slices of lettuce, just to increase the fiber. And then over here, got some Cheerios. About to eat this, let's see what happens guys. Stay tuned, BOOM! My stomach was swollen after that fucking big ass meal. I was far too much food. But anyway, that's not an excuse not to train insane. As you can see, I changed up the chest workout. I start off with the inclined dumbbells. I was just getting a bit bored of the inclined barbell. I've been doing that for the past few weeks and I just decided to change it up. You know, these are my, I filmed my first three sets, as you can see, which are my heavy sets of two to four reps. But something needs to change because these weight, these dumbbells are far too light. But the, these are the heaviest ones in the gym, so I'm either going to need to start to go back to barbells again, or I might just do pause reps next week because I don't want to be doing any higher than four reps because I want to really focus on strength. And in the in this video, I'm getting like six or seven reps, so I'll need to change that up. But it was still a great chest workout. Really got a fucking amazing pump in the upper chest. I filmed all three of my heavy sets, as you'll see. I like to go for my first two sets, I'll just train to failure myself, and then on my final set I'll get a spotter there to really help me grind out an extra few reps, just really overload the muscle and promote strength in that area. So I always start off with an incline movement, you know, nearly everyone lacks an upper chest and it's really a lagging body part for nearly everyone I see, so for me, I think it's best to do that, this exercise first to really overload the upper chest and then move on to your flat or decline movements after. So I'm really grinding out. This is my final set. As you can see, training to absolute failure. And then I'll just get my spotter to come in and help me grind out a few extra reps. I then did my usual chest workout. I've got the full length video coming up soon. It's not going to be this footage. It's from different footage where I did the barbell workout, which is going to be my main workout for chest. I'll be uploading that soon. But it's a high volume, high intensity chest workout. It'll be up soon. As you can see, getting my spotter to help me with a few reps. Definitely my elbows are coming too high up. You want to keep your elbows tucked in at about 45 degrees. But I find whenever I hit failure, my elbows just start to flare up. And that's just the way it goes for me naturally. I don't feel any pain in my shoulder or elbow, so it's all good. So now, moving on to my lighter sets. As you can see, the dumbbells are a lot lighter. I dropped them by 10 kilograms. These are now 25 kilogram dumbbells. And I just like to really burn it out and use constant tension in the chest. As you can see, I'm not pausing at the top or bottom, just really burning out the upper pecs. And then, to, to move on, I, I still like to get a barbell movement then most of the time. So I started off with the incline dumbbells and then moved on to the flat barbells. You'll see, I only got one set. Uh, no, I only filmed one set, but I did the same sort of layout. As you can see, three heavy sets and then three light sets. And I just filmed one of my light sets. And that's it to wrap it up for the workout, guys. As you can see, I always train to failure, even on the incline, light dumbbells. I really like to grind it out. The only thing I find is, is that whenever I train to failure on all my sets, coming up to the end of the workout, I'll be so fatigued that I can't lift as heavy as I would if I started off with the exercise. But that's part of the game, you know, guys. You just got to prioritize and put your main lifts at the start of the workout. And then exercises you don't really want to focus on strength, put them at the end of the workout. As you can see, this was my final set. The spotter starts to come in to really help me grind out a few extra reps. Boom. Absolutely fucking fatigued, as you can tell, guys. Nearly didn't even get that rep there. So for the flat barbell, I did 90 kilograms to start off with. I think I got about one, three sets of one. And then here is 50 kilograms on the barbell. 
I just decided to go really light on a barbell to really burn out and get loads of reps because I find if I do low reps on a flat barbell just because I don't feel like it's that much range of motion. This is meal number two. I've got six fried eggs, which were fried in butter, some steamed broccoli. Then over here, I've got some bread with a tablespoon of peanut butter in between it. Then that their label on it. I don't know if you need it. I think you can. I'm just going to fucking need it anyway. Big ass portion of mashed potatoes. Then over here... Got some oatmeal with uh, honey drizzled all over. So I'm about to eat this, guys. See what the next one looks like. Two cream buns. Small ass cup of tea. I don't want to have too big of a cup of tea because it might make me over my macros. So I'm just going to have these two instead of having a big pot of tea. Boom.